Number six then from the 2014 Advanced Tire, Implicit Differentiation. Given this, show that the first derivative dy by dx is equal to this statement and state the values of a and b. Now it's quite a short one, it's only three marks. So it'll be differentiate both sides. Well, function of a function. Differentiating the function e to the anything produces e to the thing, multiplied by the derivative of the thing it's acting on, so it'll be divided by dx, and then that's a product. So differentiating the first factor will be 3x squared, leaving the cos x squared, leaving the x cubed, then differentiating cos, again it's a function of a function there, squared, will be 2 times the cos of x to the power 1, multiplied by the derivative of that, which is negative sine x. Tidying that up, I've got 3x squared cos squared x minus 2x cubed sine x cos x divided by dx. And at the same time, putting that e to the y back in as x cubed cos squared x. So dividing throughout by that, I'll just show it anyway. 3x squared cos squared x over x cubed cos squared x minus 2x cubed sine x cos x over x cubed. And maybe I'll just split it to emphasize this. Cos squared x, I think I'll just write that as cos x cos x. So you can see quite clearly that all of that cancels out apart from a 3 on top and an x underneath. The x's cancel out and left with a 2. The cos is cancelled and the sine of a cos is a tan, so it's minus 2 tan x. And then I'd probably finish off by saying, which is in the form dy by dx equals a over x plus b tan x, where a is 3 and the b is negative 2. That's also one where if you've got time at the end, you can check that answer just by integrating it back up.